Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about search term report analysis. So to start off with, why are search terms so important within Google Ads? Well, when we select keywords in Google Ads, those keywords are going to target a wider array of individual search terms. And search terms are the actual things people have typed into Google in order to find products and services. And these search terms may not always be very closely related or as closely related as you would like to your product or service. And so as a result of that, these search terms could end up wasting a large portion of your budget. And so doing search term report analysis is a very important process for saving your ad spend and ultimately making sure that your campaign is profitable and making money for your business. So it's an essential part of managing a Google Ads account. So in order to start this process, what do we do? Where do we go? So if you're within your Google Ads account, I've got an example account here, and you're in the campaigns view, like we are in this account, the first thing you wanna do is open the keywords section and see if you can see search terms there. Now, this report should not be confused with search keywords, which is what we can see here. And the search term report is going to be in a different place depending on your account. Some accounts have it in this section. And if it's not in this section here, you navigate over to insights and reports here and you're going to click the arrow and then you're going to click search terms here. Now, I've actually got this report opened in a separate tab, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And so where do we look in this report to start with? Well, on the left hand side, we've got search terms. And so these are the individual things people have typed in uh, before seeing the, the ad from the account. Um, now there's another useful column to have and to add in, and that's the keyword column. So these are our selected keywords. And then these search terms are what Google has actually targeted because they're seen as being related to our target keyword. Now, when you first open this report, you might not have this keyword column available. And so you're gonna to wanna to add that in to your report to help you better understand that report. And you can do that by selecting on the columns section, modify columns, and then you're gonna to go to, uh, you're gonna search for keyword, and then you're gonna add it in here on the right hand side, you can drag it over. And that's very useful to do because you're gonna be able to understand which types of search terms are being activated and targeted by your chosen keywords. And when we're doing this report, the, what we're looking for is anything that doesn't make sense, anything that sticks out as being not related to our target keywords. And to help with that, there's actually a very good filter that I use in order to massively speed up this process. And so if you are managing your own account or if you are an account manager managing a number of different accounts for clients, this is gonna help you save a tremendous amount of time when you're doing this process. Um, and so you wanna set up a filter by clicking here. You can click add filter. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is add a match type filter and you're gonna to want to select everything, but you wanna avoid exact match. And you could even include exact match close variant if you want as well, if you want a few more phrases. So we'll actually go ahead and do that. And you also wanna add a filter for added excluded and you wanna add none here. And the reason you wanna add none is that if it's already been added or excluded, then we don't need to see it in the report because it's already been added as a, sorry, excluded, which means it's been added as a negative keyword or it's been added as a keyword to the account, in which case, if it was added as a keyword, we already know that it's good to be targeted. So we select none and click apply. And we also wanna look at search terms which have generated zero conversions. So, 
assuming you have conversion tracking set up as any account should, we don't want to look at keywords or search terms that are generating conversions because if they're generating conversions, they're ultimately, they should be making money for the business, for your business or your client's business. So we want to look at the search terms which are not performing well, they're not generating conversions. So once we've set up that filter, now we can begin digging through the search term report and finding non-relevant terms. So in this example, the product is a investment related product and it's related to investing in whiskey casks. So what we wanna do is ensure that the terms that we're targeting are related or closely related to the investment sphere. But we don't want terms which are more, uh, which are non-related types of investments because those people aren't going to be interested in this product or service. So if we go through and skim through the terms that are in this list, we can see, for example, there is a term such as fund investment. And the question is, is somebody who's looking for a fund, are they going to be interested in a whiskey investment and potentially they could be so that that's one that we could consider a maybe to add as a negative keyword and if we continue to scroll down um, we're going to see for example best income investments so we can select that one as a term that we might want to go ahead and remove because somebody typing this in is looking for an income relate an income generating investment and as we continue we're gonna probably find a few more candidates for adding as a negative keyword so we're just going to continue down this list so i've selected a number of terms now once you've selected the terms that you believe are not relevant to the product or service within your campaign what you can go and do is click this button here, add as negative keyword. And that's gonna add it as a negative keyword, either to your campaign, or if you have a negative keyword list, you can add it to that list directly through the interface. And there's one next step that we can use for adding negative keywords that's very efficient, which is instead of adding a negative keyword for this term, exactly as it appears, which means somebody would have to type in the term exactly as it appears on the screen here, minus the brackets, of course. Instead of doing that, what we can do is we can select the actual word that is the problem, and we can put quotes around that. And what that means is any possible search term that contains this word will be blocked going forward. And so that makes a much more efficient use of our time and a more efficient use of our budget because we are ensuring that we will never spend money on any term that includes this word ever again. And so we can do that for a number of the other keywords in this that we've selected in this list. And so we've done that for every single one. And so after that, we just go ahead and click save. And then those keywords will be saved to our negative keyword list. Um, so I hope this has been an informative video and will help you and your clients to save money within all of the campaigns that you're running. And if you'd like any assistance in managing your account or reviewing the search term report, feel free to get in contact with us at contact at optimizelab.com. And thanks for watching.